friends, and welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. Today is the 11th day of the 12 days of Christmas, and if you don't know what that is, I'll let you know about that in a few minutes. But first of all, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Brenda, and this is my exhausted Oliver. And if you're returning, thank you so much. So with all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay, here's DIY number one. So for this DIY, I'm gonna use some of this ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree last year. I'm gonna use some deco mesh. Now I got this not last year, but the year before or after Christmas from Walmart, it was marked down. And then I'm gonna use a whole bunch of zip ties. <laughs> and then these little cubes here, we had years ago um, had some outdoor uh, lighted presents um, and we had them for several many years and the lights were all dying and the stuff that was around it was getting gross and yucky and ripping so I took it all apart I was going to do this last year I ended up not doing it so I thought this would be perfect for it um, and then I'm going to recover these now I'm going to start off by taking some zip ties and taking the lights I'm sorry I didn't show you the lights but these are a strand of 50 lights you could probably, for the smaller ones, you could do 20. I did do a bigger one, so really there's three boxes. But I did that one off camera because I wanted to kind of get a feel for how to do this um, before I showed it to you. So I'm just taking um, my lights. Now, I, I originally, last year, I started one and I had lights all along the bottom. But I didn't like that because I didn't want them, you know, laying in... The grass maybe getting wet that kind of stuff so I'm just taking some bunches here and I'm zip tying them all around the cube and just kind of up from the ground and um, and I'm making sure that I have both ends of the the lights on opposite ends of each other or in you know not right next to each other um, and then making sure also that there's enough room to pull them out a little if I needed to so after I had all my lights zip tied into place, I took my deco mesh here and I'm going to start covering it and I will be using zip ties as well. So I'm at the bottom part of my cube here and I am just getting it all right to the end and I'm going to zip tie it and then I'm going to um, tighten it and zip tie it again on the other end of this bar that we're working on now if you don't have that and, and I know most of you are not going to have these cubes but I have a solution for you I've seen people do this with the square wreath forms from Dollar Tree now they don't have you know three different sizes but that's okay you could still make this with the three or you know make it with the regular size of the wreath forms or if you found different sizes wreath forms you could do that but I've also seen people do this using wood dowels, and I, I even saw someone recently do it with hangers. So there's options for you to do this. So basically, I'm just going to go around and just I'm putting the zip ties all around, tightening where I felt like it needed. I'm just, you know, I'm making sure that the the notch part of that zip tie is like inside the, the gift, not on the outside. So it's um, more hidden. And then on this one, because it's a, the smallest one, I think is the one I was doing, I had enough of that. I could have cut that mesh, but instead I just kind of wrapped it like a present, <laughs> just kind of folded it in. And I'm just going to, you know, use the zip ties to hold it in place. Um, to me, I don't really care. It's going to be outside. No one's going to see it up close, really. It's really going to be more noticeable at night but even at that they're just gonna see the lights anyways <sighs> okay so once I had it all done I took some of this ribbon and I'm just gonna zip tie it I started out on the bottom and zip tie it just like I did I've seen people use hot glue um I you know I, I don't know how long hot glue would last in the elements so that's why I thought zip ties would be best so I'm just going to go all the way around to the other side, making sure it's in the middle and zip tie it. And then I'm going to do it again, going the opposite direction. And so it looks like ribbon on a present. And um, you'll see me do that here. Now I had um, 
The first present I did, I think on one of the edges, I cut it too short because there's a lot of fraying. So you, you just want to make sure when you cut that uh, mesh that you have some little extra that you can wrap up into um, your present. And then that way, if there's any fraying, it's, it's not going to pull so much that it will cause fraying is what I should say, because this does kind of pull at the, the mesh with that zip tie. So once I had the ribbons all on, I'm going to take some more of that ribbon and I just um, kind of laid it in, in half and put it on top to see if it was the right size that I wanted. I cut two of the same size down and here I couldn't remember which way to do it, but I'm going to fold them inwards to where the ends meet together like that. And then I'm going to put them on top of each other and I'm going to put it right in the middle of my present and I'm going to put that zip tie, bring it right through the middle, right on the side of the middle bars because they're connected and then bring it around to the other side of that middle bar and zip tie it and this is just it just turns out so good I was I don't know I think I was just tired last year this was one of the last things I was going to do and I was tired and um, I had my sister coming and that's why I ended up not doing it well knowing that I was going to do this I was like just dreading it and I kept telling myself I know this isn't going to be very hard I know it's going to be pretty easy I don't know why I'm dreading it and it was really pretty easy it was a little time consuming but it was really easy now those uh balls came off of the original packages that I had so I'm just hot gluing those tops back on and then I grabbed another ball from Dollar Tree that was in my stash and I'm just going to run a zip tie again up through the middle and then I'm just going to run those balls right through it just like that and then bring it back down and tighten that zip tie and then we have some cute little ornaments on the top of the bows. Now this ribbon is, is kind of flimsy. The bows don't stick out a whole lot but you can still tell they're bows. I think when you tighten that zip tie it really causes them to kind of come upward a little bit. But there they are all lit and the first one um, the mesh that I used was a little more translucent so you can see the lights more but you know what it's okay. I don't care. I think it looks great. <laughs> you have to let me know what you think about this one in the comment box below. Okay, today is day 11 of the 12 days of Christmas DIYs and it's porch and outdoor decor. Oh, we are almost done, you guys. It has been a blast. I've been hosting this with my friend Amanda with Molly Cole Creations. Make sure you check out her channel and check out the playlist. You're going to get all kinds of inspiration. And I appreciate all of you who have stuck with us through all of this. So I'm going to thank all my subscribers who've watched this whole series with us and all of those who haven't watched. I still appreciate you. And if you're new here and enjoy today's video, please make sure you hit that red subscribe button before you go. And if you guys would like to follow me on social media, you can find the links to those accounts as well as my affiliate accounts in the description box below. Okay, it is a time for a celebration of your recreation. And pretty Patricia, look at these ribbon trees that she made. They are so pretty. Thank you so much for sharing those with us, Patricia. And if you have a rec recreation or a creation that you would like me to showcase for you. You can send pictures to my email address that's listed there or you can send them to me through Instagram or Facebook Messenger. I'm always happy to uh, see what you're making and showcase them for you. Okay DIY number two. I only have two DIYs for you this time. That first one was like doing four really. So <laughs> I mean three. So um, I'm going to start off with these 12 inch wood pieces from Dollar Tree. And this is an 18 inch wood piece from Dollar Tree. I've got, um, I use this uh, vinyl decal or um, stencil vinyl and I created some words with my Cricut. And then I got this at when it was like 75% off. Um, at Hobby Lobby, but you could always use something else. I'm going to use my antique wax and then my uh, antique green and then crimson and white. And I'm going to take these 12 inch pieces and I'm going to cut three of them down. I cut them all down an inch smaller. So I had a 12 inch, 11 inch, 10 inch and a nine inch. I wish I would have done a little bit smaller than that uh, when I cut them down, maybe an inch and a half instead. Um, but it is what it is. So I painted all of those. And then I put my uh, stencil vinyl on and I am using white on the red and I'm doing joy, just like you see there. 
And I'm going to do world on the bottom, on the red, which is the longest stick. I don't know what they call these, craft stick. I don't know. Anyways, I this is what I did. So I measured the middle point and I made sure the middle of my word was right in that middle point. Then making sure that this is lined up and straight and even. I'm using the lines on my transfer tape there for that. And then I'm just going to rub on that uh, stencil vinyl and then I'm going to take my red and I'm going to stencil in the words too and after that I did um the on the white and I used green and then yeah that was that's going to be the last one do I show that I can't remember if I show that or not <laughs> I hope not I might oh my goodness anyways um you just have to make sure you remove the, yeah, I guess I am going to show that. Uh, like the, the O has the little thing in the middle. You just want to make sure you, you remove that when you're done too. And yeah, I did get like some red paint on this and I, yeah, I had to touch up, touch them all up a little bit. <laughs> okay. So I took my, um, pieces here. This is, I measured this. I'm going to put it down three inches from the top. I added some wood glue to the middle of it. I, when I lay it down, I'll show you in a minute. I'm going to make sure that the middle part of the word is right on that slat. Added some hot glue and then glued it on. And then here I'm measuring them all to be about an inch apart. So I'm just kind of making a mark so I know where to lay it. Taking the next one here, making sure that it's right in the middle so I know where to glue it. And I'm putting my wood glue and then my hot glue. I don't know what I was doing there. And then I'm going to flip it over and make sure it's right under that mark. And then after I had them all done, I took my stapler and I am just putting two staples in each one to make sure that just gives it a little extra per, um, protection, security. I don't know. It's tired. It's late. I'm tired. I've been doing too many DIYs. <laughs> so I didn't have it on film, but I um I did put wood glue on the bottom of this piece here. And then I took one of these jumbo tumble tumbling tower blocks from five below and I'm using my wood glue and hot glue and I'm gonna add a little hot glue to the bottom of that stick there and then glue those together just to hold it in place. After that I took this star. This came from Woodpecker's Crafts. You guys if you saw my um, video yesterday, the tear tray video, most of those, I forgot to mention that the Woodpecker Crafts, I am an affiliate. So if you want to buy anything, I do have a link in my description box. I would greatly appreciate it if you order it through my link. That way I just get a little something back from them. And then I, as you can see, I glued that star on the top once it was all dry using hot glue and, and I did staple it too. Um, and I used wood glue, hot glue, and a staple. <laughs> so I'm taking these pine picks that I got from Amazon. I think these berries came from um, Hobby Lobby because they're very nice. And oh, Dollar Tree doesn't have them that nice. So <laughs> um, I am taking a zip tie. And I'm going to use a zip tie to hold these in place. And as you could see, there was rocks on the bottom. I put rocks on the bottom of this tray because I wanted to make sure that it had a little bit of weight. We get a lot of wind in our area. And even though this is going to be on our front porch underneath the covering, I still like to make sure that it's, you know, weighted down a little bit. <laughs> so I took some floral wire there and I strung it around the bottom part of my pine cones and just twisted it to make sure it was tight. And then just wrapping it around. Um, the first one that I had there, it wasn't long enough. So I'm just wrapping this one around that wire for the other one, twisting it. And then I'm just trimming it and then that way it's wired on. I didn't really want to try and use, you know, hot, hot glue for the main um, just because it's going to be outside and I don't know how well that will hold up. So there, I think this came out really cute. You have to let me know what you think about this as well. And I'm going to give you one more reveal of the first projects. But again, thank you all so much for watching. We will be back again tomorrow for the final day. It will be thrifted items. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you check out Amanda's channel and the playlist. And with all that being said, you guys, I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.